Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic Course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2012. So we are here with this problem 14 of your paper and this problem is from analysis you can say. So let us firstly have a look on this problem. So it says if y is equal to, so we have this as our y set which consists of elements like this x over 1 plus modulus of x such that x belongs to r then the set of all limit points of y is so these are your four options that are in your hand so now let us start by just writing your y properly what it contains it contains this thing right so x over 1 plus mod x such that x belongs to r right now if we consider this as my function then what will happen let us see x over 1 plus okay i am considering this as my function now see this thing that x for um, whatever you choose x from r it will always be less than this right so do you think any value will exist such that this thing is equal to this no it, it cannot exist that means what will happen from here that x plus 1 plus mod of x is always less than 1 right you cannot get a, a value of x for which this thing is equal to 1 okay you got my point now 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 see this thing the denominator that you have for your fx is actually a positive denominator right so what else can we write from here that that this if x is negative okay if x is negative then what else we can write from here that x over 1 plus mod of x is always greater uh, sorry is always okay okay I, I was writing correct so is always greater than minus 1 are you getting my point so you cannot get a x such that this value is less than minus uh, yeah less than minus 1 right this value will always be greater than minus 1 and also you cannot get any value such that these two quantities are x over 1 plus mod x is equal to minus 1 are you getting my point in that case what will happen is x is actually equal to minus times so of minus 1 minus mod x okay so that's not possible so from here we, we we have concluded that fx is in between 1 and minus 1 are you getting my point or not now the only thing that we needed here is that we need to show that this function is a onto function okay so now we can define our function since we have defined our codomain right we have defined our codomain so we can define our function so what is our function function is like this x over 1 plus mod of x right now what uh, what what thing that we needed here is if we show if we show that f is on to function then we are done we are done are you getting my point or not if we show that f is on to function then we are done now let us look at your options first your option a says that the set of all limit points of y is in this minus one to one Second one says minus 1 comma close 1. Third one says 0 comma 1. And fourth one says minus 1 comma 1. So none of the option is discarded up to what whatever we have done. Okay. So firstly I will show that my function is on to. So what's the trick for that? We will divide it into two cases. First one is that if x is greater than 0. Then what will happen? I am just writing my fx to be y. Okay. You will end up with this okay so if you will multiply with this and take x common from out uh, common out of it then what you will get you will get x oh uh, sorry you will get y over 1 minus y right now see 
why is belong y belongs to where y belongs to this set right minus one to one y is your fx that means image so y is inside this set now for every y which whatever you choose it from here you will get a x are you getting my point or not suppose this minus one to one is a close interval then you will not get such condition why because one minus one will be zero so therefore being open interval we can say that for every y we have a x that means for every y belonging to this we have a x what what does it mean it means that f is on to for this one if x is greater than zero for that i am uh, telling you this thing now suppose x is less than zero so if x is less than zero then what mod will apply mod will be applied like this are you getting my point why because you know mod x is x and minus x this is true when x is greater than zero this is true when x is less than zero okay i hope this you know already the definition now the same thing will be applied here that you will get x is equal to one sorry y over one plus y now since y belongs to this open interval therefore we can say that for every y there exists a x in 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 the in the set r in the set of real because if you will place minus 1 over here then you will not get a such x but being of an open interval you don't have minus 1 in your set are you getting my point so from here from this case also we got on to so from everywhere we proved that this set this function sorry is on to function are you getting my point so this is how we can check whether the function is on to or not now since it's on to that means uh, this what is this y i will rewrite this again this y so this y is nothing else it's fx right this is what this is my fx now since x belongs to r so what is your fx you have already proved that it will be minus 1 comma 1 open interval now you know that for open interval what are the set of limit points it's close interval minus 1 comma 1 i'm not going to explain that because it's very easy so for the open interval a comma b the set of limit points is close interval a comma b because if you will apply your definition just of limit point if you will apply then you will end up there with this that minus 1 and 1 are also the limit point okay they are not inside the set but they are the limit point okay if you don't know this thing then just look at your analysis book and definition of limit point this is very easy to show that derived set of op uh, open interval a comma b is a closed interval a comma b okay so if you uh, if you know this then we are done so from here what you will get as your answer you will get d as your answer so this one is incorrect this one is incorrect this one is incorrect right are you getting my point so this is how we actually prove all of these things right so thank you